I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bacow. Man, pole's cool. They had a fucking war bear in the war. Partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys? You guys ever hear about that? What? He's a good cop. He knows uh, inside now. Well, did you know that the British one army one actually had enlisted a bear at one point? During World War II? Our army? British. The British. Oh. I didn't know that. Right, so here's how shit went down. Nazis rounded up some Poles, made a deal with Russia, so Russia would incarcerate them, so they wouldn't have to deal with them. Well, then the Nazis attacked Russia, the Russians. What am I doing? You're going to go find the thing. Oh, great. Let's go to Antarctica down. They really so pissed you quick, didn't they? Anyway, Russia was attacked by the Nazis. Hey, let's look at that flag real quick. And the Nazis decided, man, we're not going to keep these guys as prisoners anymore. Fuck that. We're Where putting them to work. What? Does that have all 50? Yeah, it does. Well, does it? That can't no, be 50. 60. This is 47. We didn't have Alaska. And Hawaii wasn't a state yet. Alaska and Hawaii, then what's the other one? What do you mean? How many stars is that? That's six by eight. Oh my god, that image looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's the random thumbnail. Anyway, the Russians enlisted the, their various Pole prisoners into their army to fight against the Germans. And the Polacks were so happy to do so. Mm. Really? Oh, hell yeah, they got arrested by the Germans and sent to Russia. No, but Russia also. Yeah, the old gas the no, they didn't. What the fuck is wrong with you? They were gonna cut Poland in half. They were allied. It's a street crime? Yeah, that's just a random. It's just a. It's a random side quest that's comparable to stranger quests in other games. Fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, why not? So, Polak started fighting for the Russian army. And they were marching through Pakistan one day, and they just got thrown in artillery. But they were marching through Pakistan one day, and they saw a small boy carrying a bag into town. The boy stopped and talked to the boy, and found out that the thing in the bag was a bear cub. Are we friends now, Not even kidding. This kid was going into town to sell his bear cub to pay for food. Mm. So the boy was like, "Well, here, have this money. We'll take the bear." Who wouldn't want a bear? Hmm. They bought the bear. They raised the bear on. I want to know how. Rations. I want to know how the little kid got the bear in the first place. That's a good like question. That's a more interesting question than why the the cops actually gave him the money. So not cops, are just soldiers, and they don't get still a, though the fact that they could communicate with a small Pakistani Thinking about boy playing this game. The fact that there's like Polish Polish men that never been outside of Poland their entire life and communicate with some little Pakistani kid, amazing to me. They bought a bear from this kid. <laughs> they raised the bear on their rations of like evaporated milk and various meats, and they eventually trained the bear to essentially be their team mascot for their artillery platoon. The bear would stand up and march with them. They even put a little backpack on which had some of the heavy equipment in it. They would... He would sit down, he would hold cards. He couldn't play cards, but he would hold the cards in his paws. <laughs> That's adorable. He enjoyed a nice beer every once in a while, and... Uh, for laughs, some of the boys would uh, give him a smoke. Why do I feel like you're making this up? He's I'm not. So... Then eventually got to the point where Russia sent troops to, I think, Italy. And sure enough, their Polish artillery platoon went, with, went in there. And at that point, they had raised, he was a fully grown bear. Yeah. So they had, so they had trained him to load artillery shells. <laughs> Wait, how? He's a bear. He picked, he Wait, picked them up artillery, artillery shells. Okay, artillery that's different. Shell. That's different. All right then. So yeah. So him being a bear and he could do a two-man job of loading artillery shells by himself faster than a two-man team. So <laughs> they got into a, a scuffle. They were they were bombarding this church full of Nazis. 
And essentially, this bear was just throwing the damn things in the howitzers or whatever the Russian equivalent is so fast that the Nazis thought they were entirely surrounded by artillery positions and they surrendered. And boy, were they did the Americans have a story for them. Alright. So, oh. Oh. I hope you're a good shot. Guys, it's all fair. So. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so. Eventually, through some of the various deals between the nations, the Russians lent the artillery platoon to the British. The British enlisted them, and because they weren't allowed, they weren't allowed to have pets. Oh, wow, you have to just restart it? Yeah. Wow. But the soldiers weren't allowed to keep pets. So, but the British military decided that since this bear is so integral to the day-to-day -day operations during combat, let's just enlist the bear, too. So the bear was officially enlisted into the British Army. And after the war was over, he was... Taken and homed into in a uh, one of the British uh, zoos in the north. Which one exactly? They just last year they put up a gold statue of the bear. Wait, when? Just last year, the year before. I think. Wow. Yeah. Took him long enough. 